Somebody else though asked about Jameson and Smith and the different um, the different yarns and what what their differences are, um, and so I thought I'd give you a quick tour of Jameson and Smith, and I thought I'd just start with um, their two ply. So here we have their two ply Jameson and Smith, and their two ply jumper weight is. You can knit it like a fingering weight or a four ply, but it is a little bit thinner. I think you get 100 and, what do they say? Yeah, 125 yards per 25 grams. So that's 500 yards for 100 grams. So that is like a thin four ply, but it's woolen spun. And so when it is blocked or you wash it, it floofs and it fills in all any spaces between your collar work. Uh, but you don't have to knit color work with this. You can knit um, lace. Shetland is very famous for its lace work. Uh, so the only thing I wouldn't probably knit with it, honestly, it would be cables or any sort of textured knitting. It just, it's a two ply, so it's fairly flat. Right, so this is the two ply. It comes in lots of natural shades and colorful shades. There's over 90 of them. So that is that. And then you have um, their Supreme, which is only available in nine shades. They're all natural. And it comes in 50 gram balls. This one's rather odd, oddly shaped. Sorry, she's got a big, she's got a big bahookie. All right, so anyway, there she is. And she has 188 yards in this 50 grams. So that would be I don't know, 490 something. Um, so it is slightly thicker than your two ply. It is still a two ply though. And these are both woolen spun. This one's got a slightly more grist, slightly heavier. Um, but you can use these interchangeably. And right up here, can you see? Um, these are the colors for Jameson and Smith's um, um, Shell and Woolweek hat that Wilma Malcolmson just designed and uh, these are the colours that Jameson and Smith's hat's got. We'll put a picture here of what that looks like. Um, right, so the Supreme is slightly heavier but that's about it. It's a wonderful all-natural nine colour uh, range and um, my Silver Forest sweater uh, is knitted in this. And we've got a picture here and we do sell kits of this for that when we have it in stock. Next up from Jameson and Smith would be their um, heritage range. And this range is worsted spun, which is kind of unusual, but it's also very lightly spun and it's very soft and fluffy. And this yarn range is made to create uh, or recreate the historical archives from the Shetland Museum. There's madder, you know, so they're dyeing with very natural colored dyes. So this would be indigo. And uh, yes, there's madder. And then there's a whole range of natural shades as well. And I just picked this one here. This one is called black. Look at how thin it is. This is the worsted spun versus a woolen spun. I think that's a good <laughs> representation of how the, the worsted spun is more dense than a woolen spun. And if you don't know, uh, a woolen spun is when all the fibers are all jiggledy piggledy and they all get fed in and spun and they're all going every which way. And it makes for a very, it traps a lot of air. So it makes for a very warm, lightweight, finished object, whatever you're knitting with it. Worsted spun, um, all the fibers are organized before they get spun. And so they're more like this. And so that does make for a tighter packed, more dense yarn, but it also makes for a less maybe itchy yarn, if, if that's a word you want to use. Um, and it makes for more of a sheen as well because the fibers are going in the right direction. So the heritage is very traditional. It's worsted spun and it's beautiful though. It's really lovely. And you can knit all kinds of things with this. There's the Feral Kip Kip that we do, which has all the colors in it for um, for a big triangular um, feral cap, which is a cap, we all know that now. And 
Um, I think um, Kate Davies has done a few designs. Uh, I can think of her sheeps and her rams and yows design that hat and also the big blanket that she did with all the sheeps and the horns and everything that was using this and all the colors. Just lovely. And the last thing we have from Jameson and Smith is their two ply cones. These are 500 grams, which is like, how many is that? 20 balls. <laughs> so this is a great deal. Um, I have knit directly from these cones. It's great. You just sit it on the floor and you just uh, knit right off the cone. And, you know, when you have these natural colors, you're going to use them uh, over and over in lots of different projects. At least I have found that to be the case. I've knitted a Hansel hat with mine. I knitted my Star Cardi off a cone. Uh, well, the other color I knitted, um, yeah. So, ooh, here we go. My Star Cardi I knitted with uh, color 27 off the cone and the dark 81 I knitted uh, with balls. So totally the same yarn, just that the cone has not been um, washed or anything. So it may still have the uh, spinning oil on it. So it makes it a little bit flatter or ropier feeling when you're knitting with it, but I don't mind that at all. And then as soon as you uh, block it, it just blooms and is beautiful. So that's everything from Jameson and Smith and some of their differences and similarities. They are all made from uh, wool from Shetland sheep on uh, Shetland. So there's that. Um, yeah, if you have any other questions, let me know. Mm -hmm.